Hi, this is Meghnath. In the previous module, we learned about arrays in C language. In this module, we will learn about character arrays. So how to store a sequence of characters in an array and how to work with character arrays, we'll see in this module. So working with characters, sequence of characters is very important and let's get started. Now first, what we'll do is, we'll try to read a name from the user and print it. Let's get started. So I just open code blocks and remember this is lecture number 22. So file, new, empty file and I'll save it as lecture number 22 dot, 22 dot, car arrays, example one. Now, now as usual I'll write here include stdiwo.h, include conivo.h void main and first let's see how to declare a character array same like normal array we declare character array so care of name of let's put maximum of 30 characters now I want to read name from the user and print it so same printf enter your name enter your name and then we write here scanf percentile yes for name for string person yes and ampersand name. Now we're reading the name. Now what we'll do here, we'll print it. Printf, hi, percentile yes. Hope you are <coughs> learning well. For suggestions, mail to gmail.com. So I'm just writing my email address so in case if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop a mail to me. Now, now what we'll do is, we just declared a character array which can store up to 30 characters and enter your name and we're writing scanf percentile yes for a string, character array, string we use percent yes and ampersand name and we're writing printf hi, percent yes, hope you're learning well for suggestions, mail to this. Now let's build this. Save it and build it let's run the code. Now I can see here I'm entering Meghnath and hi Meghnath hope you're learning well for sessions mail to. So we're getting the output. Now now you might get requirements like you want to find the size of the string that you entered. Now let's write it. So we'll write here author and you'll write here purpose. read the string from user and print and print size and reverse of it now we have two things two tasks in mind we want to read a string from the user and print the size size means number of characters and also print the reverse of it so now so here we are reading the string so let me remove this now so up till here we're reading the string from the user we declared a character a we are reading it. Now here, control Z. Now here we'll read the value. So here we'll write the logic for logic for finding length. Length of entered string. Now we'll see how to find it. Before we jump into writing the logic, let's try to understand how string is stored in the computer when you write a how this is stored in computer memory location. So let me open this image paint. So how these strings or character arrays are actually stored is, so this is the name that we declared and I'm entering here Meghnath. So the last character, once the string got terminated, so once the string got over till here, slash zero will be added indicating that that's the end of the string. So slash zero character after the string indicates that the string is terminated right so we need to make use of this while you're when you're writing programming we need to make use of this to find this length so what we'll do is we'll write a for loop starting from uh, starting from zero we'll keep checking when name of i reaches slash zero when name of i reaches slash zero that means the string is ended till then we'll be adding a variable so let's see now let's do this so let's go to code blocks and I'll write here for, uh, I'll declare a variable int int i is equal to 0 and I'll declare variable 
int i comma length is equal to zero. Length equal to zero to find length. Now what I'll do now, I'll write for i is equal to zero, starting from zero, a of i names of name of i not equal to till when we need to loop through a name of i not equal to slash zero and then i plus plus. Now until names of i reaches slash zero continue to loop through and add length is equal to length plus one. Now we will loop through when names of i reaches slash zero so length will not get incremented. So now we'll print it. So print f length of the entered string is percentile d comma length. So like this we can actually find the length of the entered string. Let me enter slash n. Now let's see whether we get the output or not. Let's save it and build it. Let's run the code. Now I'm entering the name as make and you can see here length of the entered string is 3. Let's run this code once again. Let's see this now. I'm entering this name as Meghnath and you can see length of the entered string is 8. We are getting the output. Now that we know the length of the string is 8, now how to print the reverse of it? Printing reverse is easy. We need to start from length minus 1. We need to start printing from length minus 1 till 0. So that will give the reverse. Now let's see this. <coughs> Now, now we want to print. So logic to print reverse of the string. Now how to do that? For i is equal to length minus 1. Length minus 1, i greater than or equal to 0. Now what we need to do now is, from this side, length is 8, right? So total is 8 characters. So that's why length is 8. So from 8 minus 1, to, to, to we need to print one by one. Eight minus one. This is name name of eight minus one. This is uh, six. Like this, we need to print. We need to print up to yum. That is name of zero. So now I'll write i greater than or equal to zero. I minus minus. You have to give minus minus. And then I'll write printf. I'll write here uh, percent c because it's a character, comma name of i. So this will print the name in the reverse order. Let's see if it works or not. Let's save it and build it. Now no errors, no warnings. Let's run the code. Enter the name. I'll write here Meghnad. You can see here it's printing the name in the reverse. You can see it's printing the name in the reverse. So let's enter here. Let's run the code. I'll enter here ABC. You can see here CBA, so it's printing the reverse. So we just learned how to find number of characters of a string character A, and also we have written how to find um, reverse of a given string, how to print it, right? So I hope you're clear with um, you're clear with this uh, character is how to work with it. And in the next module, we'll, we'll see there are a lot of inbuilt string functions that you can use it for finding length of a string, for reversing of a string, for concatenating a string. So there are so many inbuilt functions that we have. So we're going to learn uh, inbuilt string functions in the next module, which is very important. So I hope you are clear with characters. See you in the see you in the next module. Thank you.